inches of snow. I was going to say, it's oh, going to take wow. a while to You're not going to get out no. in wow. that kind of snow. Get some so. really warm temperatures in order to Yeah, that, we'll yeah. probably see some significant improvements today, but mm -hmm. yeah, there's probably a little bit of a travel headache. And that, it's interesting because they were telling everybody to stock up, get mm -hmm. repaired, because you're not leaving for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. No, I, and I think definitely, like we've said, it's going to take a while for all that mm -hmm. snow to uh, melt up. Yeah. The good news is we're not looking at any travel headaches just yet in New Mexico yet is the key word there because we do have some active weather in that forecast. We'll get to it here and start with radar. High clouds. Yeah, that's about it this morning. Not seeing anything in the way of falling rain, but notice those current temperatures were still pretty chilly in the 20s and 30s to the north. Cold up across northern New Mexico, but 30s and 40s down to the south. 38 degrees is what we're walking out the door to here in the metro. Notice the day plan looks a lot like yesterday, if not even better. Low 50s by lunch. We'll get it into the low 60s today. Yesterday at the airport, we officially topped out at 61 degrees. So about the same as yesterday, if not a little bit warmer. Plenty of sunshine, actually more sunshine today compared to yesterday. Forecast winds. We're certainly starting to see the winds pick up out across the eastern plains and up in the northern mountains. These winds will stick around for most of the day. I'm thinking anywhere between about 15 to 25 miles per hour on the other side of the mountains. Metro area only about 5 to 15. So we're not going to see gusty winds just yet, but they are on our way. So I'm first going to talk setup and then we're going to get to those rain snow chances. So as far as today goes mild across the state, we do have this little disturbance up to our north that's going to try and get some snow showers out across the northern mountains. We're talking a very weak snow, if anything, light snowflakes at that. Most of this is just too far to the north to give us anything good. But by the time we hit tomorrow, got a cold front moving in from the northeast. We also have this storm system sitting to the southwest of us. Now, what this will do is it's going to come up a little bit closer to Arizona, and then it's going to drop to the south of us. So will it make a direct impact? No, but what it's going to do is it's going to spin all that Pacific moisture into our area. We're looking at a lot of good moisture pumped into the state of New Mexico over the next several days. The storm really isn't moving that fast, so we have a good chance of picking up some good rain, meaningful rain, beginning tomorrow. So today, don't worry about it. A little bit of wind and that's about it. Tomorrow, that's when we expect the changes to come in. Now, as far as this graphic goes, this is late in the day Thursday. I don't expect the rain and the snow to start tomorrow morning. It's going to be very late in the evening, continue overnight and Friday, really starting to ramp up. As far as metro area goes, most of this will fall as rain on Friday, snow further up into the northern mountains in the northeast and eastern plains, and rain out across the southwest. Some of this could be some moderate to even heavy rain. So, yes, we're going to be watching the totals, but as far as the snow goes, most of this will be kept up into the northern mountains, but a foot, foot and a half, easily possible for some of the higher terrain within the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. So, southern Colorado, sunshine today, temperatures in the mid 40s. Slayered starting to cool down tomorrow. We'll watch for some better chances for rain and snow by Friday and Saturday. Northwest Plateau, lots of sunshine today. Temperatures cooling off to the 40s by Friday. Most likely a rain still makes Friday, rain on Saturday. Southwest, very warm. Anything over the next four to five days will just be rain. We'll watch for some snow up in the higher elevations of the Gila, but overall those temperatures getting down to the 40s for the end of the week. Southeast, sunny and comfortable today, but with the cold front moving in, we're going to shave off at least 15 to 20 degrees heading into tomorrow, even colder by Friday. Northeast, sun and high clouds. The winds, like I mentioned, will start to kick up today and tomorrow. Temperature-wise, we're down to the 30s by Friday. A good chance for some snow Friday into Saturday. Northern mountains, nice and mild today. Tomorrow, starting to cool down. Cold temperatures kick back in Friday. Watching for some good mountain snow, especially up in the higher elevations Friday into Saturday. East mountains, sunny and a little bit breezy today. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. 40s tomorrow, better chances for some rain and snow start late tomorrow night, continuing Friday into Saturday. Metro area, a nice looking day in January for us in those low to mid 60s. Tomorrow we're down to the low 50s, 40s kick back in Friday and Saturday. Again, the big active weather days for us this week, Friday and Saturday. Most of it rain. We'll watch for some of those snow accumulations to get up, especially Saturday morning. But overall, just kind of soggy heading into this. The last weekend, right? Last weekend in January? It is the last yeah. week. Yeah, February That's starts on crazy. Sunday. Yeah, so soggy starts in February. At and that. it's Super Bowl, by the way. So maybe it'll be, if, it's, if it extends into Sunday, it's a good time to stay inside. Yes, that's true. <laughs> we'll watch it. Okay.